Hello, and today my project is going to be based on uh, how lenses and lighting can change a subject in a scene. A lot of referencing for uh, this project was mostly stills from films, uh, just because of the lighting aspect that we wanted to do and try to recreate. First image that we have here, we wanted to do it as a uh, 35mm camera lens, just to see the difference between the two that we had. And you can see it gives the subject a lot more of a, a, f a flatter sort of feel to her face and it makes it a little bit more round. What, was something that we didn't really want. Um... And also it's given this sort of faded look, what's not nice that we're looking for. We, it, we wanted it to pop with a bit more colour with the lighting that we wanted. Now we move on to the 75mm. We used uh, the range of 50mm on it, so it was sort of stand we are looking at and it, from the get-go you can see there's a lot more color and a lot more pop uh, the lighting has stayed the same for this we just changed the lens and it feels a lot more better uh, with the lighting uh, we actually wanted to do more of a studio based lighting so we just wanted to flood her with uh, just uh, light so you don't get as many hard shadows so it's like a nice neutral to uh, see the difference between each shot With this next clip, I just wanted to add um, where we got most of our primary research from was from Barry, uh, our tutor. Uh, he helped us a lot with this project with lighting as he is an expert in the area and just from his work, let alone. Then we had a three point lighting set up on him. The first light, um, we used the Solar 12, was a 2K LED light. Uh, we want to use that as the main so it would fill up uh, the whole scene and make it look nice. What else what we had to use was a blocker because the light was also transferring onto the back of the background. So we didn't want the background lit, we just wanted the subject lit. Then we also had a dado light in. Uh, we only used one, what was 150 watt, and we used that to reflect it off of uh, a reflector what was on Barry's lap to get rid of the shadowing underneath his neck as you can see. And finally the third lighting that we used was a Chinese lantern what sort of gave a nice soft box look um, what Barry recommended to us and um, it sort of softened up the face a little bit. Also another reason why we used it was because it gave the subject a shine in the eye
Uh, then we did it again with our main subject, but we didn't use the reflector. And as you can see, there is a shadow in underneath the neck, so that's why we sort of used uh, that dado in the end, what was quite helpful to get rid of that. The next technique that we wanted to try was from the film uh, Casino Royale. I could have said we could have tried better. The, next, the thing that I'll try to do next time is uh, do it in more of a um, better contro uh, more controllable location uh, just to get the more darker shadows on the face. But we only used the Solar 12 for this and I thought it worked out quite well. Uh, we could have edited it a little bit more just to show the more shadowing but we could have done a lot more with the lighting. The next clip though is sort of similar to the one before but we wanted to try something different and um, what we tried to do was bounce in the Solar 12 off of uh, a reflective piece of uh, white memory foam and back at the subject and what it did it gave us some more harsher shadows on the face which was quite surprising because uh, we put the reflector right next to the lighting. So the next step was we wanted to try to get the three point light in but with just one light. So what we did was we grabbed a reflector and we used it on the other side of the subject. What sort of gave us a nice little more detail to her left side of her face and got away with the shadows and made them a little bit more softer. Next thing we did was we actually added a bit of colour to it, so if we can change the mood of the subject, but put a little bit of a pink overlay on it to see if we can get either a romance or a love feeling. Afterwards we decided to add a reflector. We was using wall size uh, foam boards uh, with one side white, one side black, and we decided to add the black. Uh, to it just to see if we don't get as much as a harsher light this time and as you can see it still has a little bit of a, an effect with the color a difference and in the shading of her face but not so much it sort of made her face a lot more showable to us then in the end we decided we wanted to try a two-piece color so we used the pink on uh, Solar 12 and then we used the dado for the blue and the reference that we use that from is from the film Blade Runner as you can see they're using the blue as the background and the red as the uh, foreground but we wanted to try to use it uh, to do the fill and the pink is the main and with the last uh, shot that we did we did a three point lighting setup with pink on the solar 12 again but a little bit less of the color the inspiration was the film amelie as you can see the comparison between uh, this shot you can see the more pinker color to her skin and her hair where with the just normal white lighting uh, you can see that it is just uh, her natural skin color and her hair color but i would say that was quite a nice shot that we did in the end compared to where we was at the start. Uh, what I'd like to start off with was what didn't go so well. Um, we didn't really have a controlled area, in my opinion, for lighting. Uh, we did have, sadly, a few groups around us uh, doing other uh, experiments and their lighting was flooding sort of our lighting setup. Another problem that we had was we didn't have too many lenses to play with, we could only take two out at CLR. Moving on to what went well though was the, I heard just getting ideas and information from Barry. Uh, he was a very big inspiration to us, uh, especially with the classes that he taught us with be opening my mind to different ways of using lighting so example of the Chinese lantern never thought to use that as a softbox but it can become a very useful item and very cheap they has improved um, taking a lot of information on board from Barry and what he has taught me uh, is to safety precautions he has taught me all the right ways to set up lighting and make sure I'm safe and my crew is safe from not getting harmed. What I actually learned from this experiment is the different ways that you can control lighting just with either blocking out something or placing a light here or there. 